Hey guys, welcome back. I'm playing on a Unwelcome Guest by Roger. I hope I pronounced that correctly. So, looks like I'm going to be using my torch for the first time in quite a while. So let's have a good look around. Okay, we're locked in here. Okay, so this is like a little spawn section. Did I get all three? Yes, I did. Yeah, this is inspired by one of the maps on Aliens vs Predator, which is a game I played a long, long time ago. Let's call that your warm -up. See how much we remember, eh? This is actually really, really dark, so I'm having a bit of trouble seeing. Then again, it is supposed to be night time, so... Okay, so this is one of the dropships. Certainly I can line up in one go. Quite a few, quite a few. Can I actually go in here? No, okay. Oh, okay. Visible wall. Panic. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. No need to worry too much. Can I go in here? No, I can't. Okay. Okay, straight on. We'll go straight on. Excuse me, gents. That'll do. Alright, so so far, I think the lighting's good considering it's supposed to be dark outside. And it is plain, there's not much detail. Let's have a look in here. There is a fair amount of um, little items here and there and a bit of clutter. Yeah, I am locked in here. There's only one way in. Okay, I need, okay that was actually quite lucky, I was going to say. I always leave one guy alive so I can have a quick run around and explore the entire area on wave one. Okay, what else is in here? It has been a very long time since I've played Aliens vs Predator, so I obviously don't remember the map. It does look like the old game. Well, I do bear in mind if you're doing a remake of an old game, it shouldn't look like a game that came out in like the 90s, early 2000s should uh, be given extra detail and stuff. I think I've actually explored everything. Yeah, it's a very tiny map, so... Oh, hang on. There you go. See you next wave. Okay, so you have now seen the map. It's a nice, small and simple one. Good for a quick game and also good for solo play. It's these two models that I like. This looks a lot like the actual vehicle in the game. Let's have another look at the dropship. These are really good. I like these. I don't know if these have been modelled themselves, like individually, or they've been copied from the actual old game, but they look very good. I do like these. Something, something odd with the the lights there. As usual, my graphics card and lighting don't really get on too well, so I'll fucking stop it. Right. There we go. As for the outside detail, the sky is very well done. Ooh, almost. I see what you tried there. Yeah, the sky looks very nice, the mountain's a good detail. Now, there's one thing I do remember Range vs. Predator. Oh! Level 20! I was not looking how much XP I had. Nice. So, there's one thing I do remember from Range vs. Predator, and that's there was this crate, like one of these, and behind it was like, um, this hook that was hanging, kind of like the one that's over here, the yellow one, I'll just quickly show you. And that sort of long hook was hanging down behind the crate, and because there was a slight breeze, it was sort of this making this slight swinging noise, you know, that the chains make. And of course, because you've got like the um, the detector on your pulse rifle, there's this sort of, sort of beep, 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 like behind one of the crates, and I remember being really scared about it, I thought, oh god. There's an alien behind it, and there, there just wasn't. It just wasn't. It's getting terrified over nothing. But I will say though, Aliens vs Predator 2, by far the scariest game I've ever played. I was a kid back then, but I will not forget. I lost sleep over that damn thing. Anyway. See you next wave. So as for my level 20 bonus, I went for the extra damage, because why not? One thing I do want to try at some point though, is switching out to the carrying capacity, because then I know I'll be able to carry the AA-12 and the RPG, if my mass is correct, which it may not be, so don't hold me on that one. Oh. There you go. 
Hey, there we go. Is that a siren I can see off in the distance? Yeah, I wanted to fight in this room for a bit because there isn't really much of the map to show, and I've already shown it. So, it would be nice if I could actually do what I can to try and spread the content out a bit. Now, considering I'm actually going to be setting this gun at the end of the wave, I might as well... Might as well do what I can. Oh, fuck. Oh dear. Take the damage. Hey. Got smashed. Alright, see you next wave. Don't know how I managed to get blood on there. Anyway, yeah, for some reason I've only got 20 shots on this. Don't know why. Oh well, we'll manage. So I'm going to quickly blast through this last wave, quite literally in some cases. Now we'll get straight into the boss and clear this out. So overall this is a nice simple map. Nothing fancy, but you don't have to have a big fancy map to have some good time on it. So. Hello. Alright. Sweep through these guys nice and quick. See how many I can line up. Oh. Ow. Wow. He took quite a bit of doing. Oh my god, okay. You can take that. Alright. This is what we needed. Hey! Chained it. That's what the bonus damage does for you. Okay, I actually have uh, no extra stuff for this. This is all I got. Double barrel time. And I'll see you next wave. Okay, so just a couple of things to mention. So far, no problems with the Z-Path thing. These arrows have always been nice and accurate. So there's that, which is quite nice. Break time's over. Get this is a nice little addition to any map list. Just something quick to get done and out of the way. Now, let's see how far I can chase this guy in this map. Because the advantage of it being a small map is you don't have very many places to run and hide. I'm guessing this door. So I'm just going to stay back and wait until he actually pops up and flee automatic fire. Hey. Take the extra damage. How does he hit me from all the way over there? Oh no. Oh shit. Okay. I'll take this, because you can't. Come on. Let's keep up with him. Where is he? Oh, shit. No! Wrong button. I accidentally threw money at him. Ah, shit. Yeah, he's got that. Right. Nope. Nope. Lock the bullets for me. Thank you. can run behind these, right? Yes, I can. Good. I wonder if I can actually just hide there and fight him. Oof. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't want that. I can actually dodge a surprising amount of that. Right, where'd he go? You dead. Hear him. I'm pretty sure he's actually going to get away this time. Anyway, I'll just I'll just melee some guys to death. I'll just pistol them. Right. 
There is the damn thing. That's the stuff. I saw him there. There you go. Here we go. You and me, buddy. Just you and me. Hey, where'd he go? Come back here. Nowhere for you to hide. Going to get you. Where is he? He's off like down here somewhere. There he is. Oh shit. I'm very surrounded. Okay. Tell you what. There we go. No. Ow. I could not dodge that one. What's he doing? Oh the fuck! He didn't do that last time. No, please don't. Please don't. Okay, I might actually die on this one. Ow. The whole point was I was being cheap and dodging it. Okay. I'm actually running low on ammo. Like, low, low. Come on. I think I got this. Where are you going? And see you later. Alright, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.